everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, just to give you an idea about this gentleman, we made a video before about him, but now supposedly he's trying to justify why Islam, like does Islam, as you see in the name of the video, oppress women? And he is trying to justify. So for 20 minute uh, speech, all what he is talking about, trying to prove to us that boys and girls are different. But honestly, I do not know who is the one who told him that boys and girls, they are different. Do you need to make a speech for one hour to tell us that boys and girls are different? We know that. The lecturer supposedly is about, does Islam oppress women? Not if they are different or not. But you will see how the Muslims, they justify the crimes of Islam against women. By trying to prove to you, you know what? The women is different. In fact, what we find is that Western society is the society that oppresses women. Because the nature of the woman is to be a mother. The nature of the woman is to be caring for children. The nature of the woman, her whole biology, her whole chemistry, her nervous system, her mental system is all constructed. Whether you believe in Allah or you believe in evolution, it's not something you can argue. What does this have to do with rights for God's sake? Let us say the women should be only as a mother. Still, we don't understand <clears throat> why she cannot have equal rights. Is a mother is a less possession from anything? This is a very important job, very hard one. We are asking why she cannot have equal rights. He want to prove to us that she can be only a, a mother. For them that nurture them, and believe me, the one who is most capable of doing it is the woman. The man can have a go, and maybe he has to do that sometimes. But the reality is, as every single one of us who have got kids here, we know the reality. Still, for God's sake, we understand the woman, she is the best to be the mother because she is the only one can be a mother, you smart. Because she is the mother. Man, she is the one who is carrying the baby for nine months, not your majesty. We know that. Did you find a new discovery? Until now, we want to know why Islam don't give the women equal rights. So what do we find? We find, as usual, mm -hmm. and it's not surprising, we shouldn't go, oh, that's amazing, because you know what? It's not really that amazing. If we are believers in Allah, and we believe in Islam, and we believe Islam is from Allah, we would expect that what Allah teaches us is to be in agreement with what has been scientifically proven. And of course, <laughs> the Qur'an confirms this ah. reality. Oh, okay. We know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned mm -hmm. the wife of Imran who dedicated her child, who is of course Maryam. By the way, the wife of Imran never have a child and she never get married even. This is one of the mistakes of your Qur'an. Go and read the Bible and you will see. This woman, she was and she never been married and by the way your god he do not know anything about history continue to the worst the temple to the to the, the to the to be a priest in the temple but of course when she gave birth to maryam she said i have given birth to a female child and allah knows very well what she had given birth to the male is not like the female. The See? So he's proving that... Uh, now we go to business. I like this. That the male are not the same as a female. The male are not the same as a female. Well, in general, yes, the male and the female are different. We know that. But in here he's trying to prove to you that their rights should be different too. Male is not like the female. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us. Right? Dear guests, the male is not like the female. Science tells us, reason tells us, experience tells us, and Allah reminds us. Men and women are different. 
So it is the society that oppresses women is a society that takes women away from their nature. A society that tells women that being a mother, that being a, uh, the housekeeper, that the one who is doing perhaps one of the most essential jobs in society is a degrading position. So the Western, they are the one who made the first wife of Muhammad Khadija a businesswoman. I think it's George Bush maybe, right? So uh, Khadija, the businesswoman who Muhammad used to work for her, clean her dishes, clean her shoes, and wash her underwear. She was oppressed before she married Muhammad. Or in this case, this is mean your prophet was oppressed because he was doing the women work at home. They talk about it. She's chained to the kitchen sink like she's some slave, like it's some menial task. And rather, the woman who is honored is what? And by the way, as long as you are talking about nature, proving to us that the, the women, they are the best in the kitchen, this is wrong. The best cook all around the world is very famous. They are men. So maybe we should put men only in the kitchen. The actress, the model, the super businesswoman. You see, they, they, they forget their history. They don't know. His prophet wife was a businesswoman. <laughs> and the more clothes she takes off, the more honored she is. Well, let me ask you a question. The more clothes she takes off, the more be better, you know, under what? Who is the one who is saying that? The freedom is the one who decides what people want to do, which means if the woman want to cover herself, she cover herself. If the woman she don't want, she don't want. What, what are you worried about? Why in Islam the man he can show his butt? Why? Do you have a reason? The woman she have to cover herself because she should use the, the man, right? Why the man he don't cover himself too so he will not seduce the women? Or the men only the one they have right to show their face to show their arms, to show their legs, to show their chest. When they go to Hajj, the Muslims, they wear neck clothes. They go naked. You see, when they do Hajj, they wear no clothes. They wear a sheet around themselves. They have no underwear. And, you know, this man now is just covering a lot of himself. Usually, they show all their chest, their back, uh, uh, almost, uh, you know, every, uh, everything in their body they, they show. So, why the man, he can show this? And there is women around him, by the way. Women is all over there. What if a woman, she get horny? The man, he can show his, you know, his body. The man, he can show his face. The man, he can do whatever he want. The man can be in the street. The man, he can go and, you know, do whatever he want. The women, all what this gentleman trying, if we can call him gentleman even, trying to convince us, the women is made by Allah to be in the kitchen uh, this is her nature place. Uh, her nature place is to be in the bed for sex, uh, not to be a businesswoman, not to be a doctor, not to be an engineer, not to be a teacher. She is made by Allah for sex only. So he is telling us that according to the teaching of Islam, the women, she is just a sex toy. She is just a whore, nothing more. She is for the joy of a man to give him kids, uh, to wash his clothes, and she cannot do anything better. This is absolutely false, and if you don't believe me, open the yellow pages and see how many doctors are women, how many engineers are women, how many lawyers are women, and the foreign minister is a woman, and the prime minister is a woman, and queens are women, and leaders of wars were women, and you are a fool. Jesus is Lord, Islam for fool. Amen.